No, 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 no. If I'm in prison, they give me this food as a dollar fries. I will not eat it. I can tell that this person does not cook. It feels like all of the seasoning in the cupboard is being added to this one smooth plate. TQS bonnets, TT. QS Bonnets, the Bonnets at Home Magic, all on its own. Get yours at www.tqsbooth.com. Hey guys, welcome to the Queen's Family channel. And in today's video, I'll be trying other people jollof fries. So what is actually jollof fries? Jollof fries is one of the most popular traditional Nigerian food. And guess what? It's delicious. Honestly, I feel like the most underrated thing about jollof fries, everyone says, oh, it's easy, it's hard, blah, blah, blah. It's easy to follow the cookbook and follow the ingredients and follow the seasoning. Everyone can do that. When it comes to stirring jollof rice, that's when the hard part comes. You gotta make sure that the seasoning is there. If the seasoning isn't there, then that's not jollof rice, I'm sorry. Some people might like it lighter or darker. They might like to add vegetables such as peas, carrot as well, I've seen carrot but I feel like it's a bit weird I don't really like to add vegetables on my jollof rice people think jollof rice is really easy to cook it's not easy I actually don't understand when people say it's easy to cook jollof rice it just means that you can't cook it, that is so complex because if you stir it wrong it could be hard and mushy so think about it alright guys, dish okay. number one I will try this one jollof rice yeah, I can see the design is good Guys, this is so confusing. Like, I don't know if this is couscous. <laughs> okay, I'm looking down and the presentation looks nice. Oh, wow. This is, I like the color in this. It's not light skin. I was hoping that I didn't see no light skin jello fries because I hate light skin jello fries. Personally, if your jello fries isn't red like this, then this is not jello fries. It looks so color as jello fries. The color is there. It looks like basmati rice cut into pieces but i mean the presentation is 10 out of 10 the um, i like how the person added um meat it doesn't really look like jollof rice it's really dark last time i ordered <laughs> the last time I ordered, I ordered curry rice it looked like this i can see like it's kind of burnt if you guys can't see this can you guys see this it's kind of burnt it's a bit disrespectful to have burnt jollof rice on someone's plate. Like, that is supposed to be eaten last. You know when you have like a really nice plate of jollof rice and then in the end you just eat the burnt part? But I, I did not want scraps. I wanted a plate. The color looks like the type of jollof rice that I would crave and like to eat. But let's taste it. What? Oh, it's, it's moving. Whoa, is it alive? I didn't know you can bring food to life. Honestly, it's like it doesn't break. Look, it doesn't break, guys. This is, it stays. It stays in its shape. This is, this is amazing. <laughs> guys. <laughs> Why is it so sticky? This is jelly. Are you done? Are, are you done? <laughs> if your jollof rice can actually stack up like that, then that's not jollof rice. They should be all separated, right? Well, let's taste it. <laughs> So spicy. I like my jello fry to be spicy, actually. Um, secondly, I think so salty, which I don't like it, and so dry. It's not properly cooked. So let's test the meat. You know what this is? This is supposed to be used to build houses. Because it, it doesn't move. If there's an earthquake, this will survive. This is this is good guys. And now I don't know if this is edible, but I'm gonna try it because it actually smells good and it looks good, but it just, it's not built good. This is, this is what I meant when I said you need to, you need to have the right technique when you need to like mix the rice. You're not supposed to mix, you need to like swoop the rice so it doesn't stick. Oh, it didn't really fall apart, but oh. 
This is not the love rash. It's like all soft and then at first it has a different taste to the end and then this is new to me guys. I'm sure but this is good. But it tastes like curry. Tastes good. I like how it's spicy as well. But it's good. Mmm. That definitely like you meat. It's so nice. It feels like all of the seasoning in the cupboard has been added to this one small plate. I would rate this as 5 out of 10. I wonder who cooked this. Mm. The meat is really good. I see what she tries to do. Overall, I give this a 4. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoever made this, <laughs> don't call this to my friends. <laughs> the rice is supposed to be the start of the show. And when I put that in my mouth, I could feel like tiny grains because the rice is it looks like someone chopped off the rice. I'm gonna rate this a four and a half out of ten because the meat is really good. The meat kind of supported the jollof rice on its own because the jollof rice needed that support. Let me be generous and give it a four out of ten. Ah, oh, this is jollof rice, is it? And oh, no. I like the color of the jollof rice. This is the really color of jollof rice that I've never seen in my life. Actually, we're talking about jollof rice. We're talking about the color of the jollof rice. <coughs> It smells spicy. I can tell it's spicy. Okay, very bright. This looks very nice. The presentation is a 10 out of 10, even though there's nothing going on. But the rice itself, how bright it is, and the color, 10 out of 10. You can see the rice is so straight and it's not even cut. Yeah, it smells like the love rice. Duh. Let me test it. Oh my days! That's the best jello fries I've tasted so far. I actually like it. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. They're all like separated, they're not stacked on. <laughs> like if I try and stack it up, it's not gonna work out. Man, let me. It tastes so good. Whoa, okay, this is the best one I've had so far. But there's something missing, but I don't know what's missing. So there's nothing missing. It seems that the, the, the tomato sauce is not well cooked, or the stew is not well cooked. Spicy, very spicy. I like I like jollof rice, it's okay. But the only thing that's quite different from the rice, or so-called jollof rice, is the the tomatoes or the stew is not well cooked. Guys are confused. I'm not sure if I'm eating jollof rice or rice bolognese. The tomatoes is not cooked. So I feel like the person was, when it was cooking. I don't think it fried the tomatoes. I think it just put in the microwave and put the rice inside the microwave. I'm gonna rate it um, 8 out of 10. 7 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 4. Because the color looks so fantastic, but the taste, that's another day because we're going to stay here for a long period of time. Actually, guys, this jello fries. Seriously, what is this? This rice looks like it has leather bits in it. You know when you have like leather jacket and you just like just cut it into the rice because this is so much look, there's so much leather in my food. What is this? Guys, you can even pick it out. Like the only good thing I can say about the appearance is that the rice isn't like stick together. Let's try this. It looked like the person tried to scrape from the bottom. I mean, this is not looking good. It's very spicy, so the matter that they cook properly. So much maggy. So many seasoning conflicting each other. Like I guess guys, my mouth is in war. Oh my gosh. So it's like fish. It smells like burnt toast bread. Is there like um dry fish in this? If I've been in prison, they give me this food as a jello fries. I would not eat it. By looking at this rice, I can tell that this person does not cook. This is definitely somebody's first time cooking the rice or something went terribly wrong in the kitchen. Like they forgot to stir the rice because when it comes to jello rice, you need to stir the rice like every like, I don't know, five minutes or less because it can get like stuck and burned and this person was not paying attention to the rice, which is a red flag when it comes to making jello rice. So let's try this. She try her possible best to make it jello fries. Wish. I'm going to wait to two. Three out of ten. A four. I'll give this a one for wasting your time. I said what an insult. Well prepared. The color is amazing. What? I got it to judge. My biggest fear has come to life, light skin. This better taste good. Jello fries has to be nice and dark. You know what? It has to come down to the taste because 
right now, just looking at it, it just makes me a little bit angry. There's nothing to say in this rice. I feel like it's about to be sticky, but it survived. And one thing I actually do really like about this jollof rice is light skin rice. Like, pure light skin. Compared to the others, they were like dark, red. You never know, it could taste nice, you never know. Looks quite different to the others. The others were quite darker, but this was lighter. Mm. I found the jollof rice and this is the one that I've been waiting for and I found it. It's actually good. I rather feel like this person was adding oil, olive oil during the cooking process of the tomatoes. But it's actually quite nice, I'm gonna lie. This is the best jello fries I've had so far. It's so good. Not disappointing. It smells nice. It smells like jello fries. It doesn't smell like fish. It doesn't smell like curry. It smells like tomato from jello fries. Added this food. 10. 10. So I'm going to rate it. Mm. 7. I wish the rice was just a little bit. Um, harder because it's like cooked and I like my rice hard guys and I'm definitely gonna rate this like a 9 that's a 10 out of 10 straight no regret 10 out of 10 okay guys I got the highest point and of course I won I didn't really think I was gonna win but I guess I made the best of rice in the house so guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And guess what? We're out. Peace. Hey. Hey.